Alright, hey guys. Uh, just putting some more touches on the incubator. Heat tape is installed. One strip of 12 inch. The new stuff with the new connectors. Um, I've plugged it in. I don't have a thermostat on it right now. Not going to let it run too long. I just want to see as it heats up a little bit if that thermometer goes up. Uh, it's actually already climbed up a degree in there. Um, I'm going to, I thought I was going to put that metal shelf in there, and I might put the metal shelf in the bottom for holding water bottles, but then I'm going to put some light diffusers, I'm going to cut them to size as shelf, um, see how well that works. If it doesn't work as well as I hope, I'll go up to Home Depot and get some metal shelving to put in there, but so far, looking good. I love the fact that, that light works. And that thermometer probe appears to be working because it's climbing up. Um, I'm going to have to probably place that. Actually, what I'll probably do is put a layer of light diffuser up on that top ridge there. Or maybe even put a couple screws in up close. Well, up close. No, no, I don't want it close to the light. Never mind. Yeah, that top layer. Put the thermometer underneath that. Um, yeah, temp appears to be climbing pretty steady already. Uh, let's see here. Stick my hand in and see if that heat tape is throwing off heat. Oh yeah, yeah. That's throwing off heat. So, uh, that's it. I'm going to have to get the light diffuser in there. I should be getting my income tax sometime in the next 9 to 19 days according to TurboTax. Um, so, that's when I will order my thermostat. Probably drill one single hole through the top to drop the probe down in there. I thought about feeding the probe through that hole down there. But, honestly, um, I want the probe to come in through the top and hang in the middle. So, patch up those screw holes there. Probably just some metal tape. Silicone up the plug holes once all the plugs are in place. And, uh, yeah, that'll be a functional incubator. The heat tape is definitely heating up. So, I'll probably wait till it gets up to about 80 in there, and then um, cut it off, because like I said, there's no thermostat, and I don't want it to heat up too much. So, but looking, looking good. So, I'm probably going to see if I can find some new egg boxes. Uh, the six quart egg boxes don't fit next to each other in there. The, the rims make it too hard for them to fit. So I might try those flat, like four inch thick six quart boxes. Because those should be enough for ball python eggs to fit in with some substrate. Um, we'll see. I'll test it out and see if that works. But, all in all, the project is coming along nicely and I like it. Take some Windex to that later. So, yeah, that heat tape's heating it up. And it looks like that thermometer is actually going to work. So, it's not going to go in an egg box. That'll be the one that tells me the ambient temperature in the... in the... incubator. I'll probably, uh, stick another thermometer cord down through with the uh, thermostat probe and see if they read the same temperature you know to you know read it at the same level and then put the uh, the one that I add down lower so I get you know see if there's a gradient but with the fan blowing in there there really shouldn't be a temperature gradient it should circulate the air so that the entire thing stays the same but uh, that's it just want to show you guys a little bit of my progress this is what happens when it's almost 3 in the morning and you're a third shifter who's used to staying up all night. You work on projects. So, Oh, and one more update. Friday, I should be driving down to Mohegan Sun Casino to meet up with a guy. And I'm going to trade this guy, this pastel, for a male orange ghost. Um, the way I look at it is... He asked me. He asked me if the if the snake had any paperwork proving it was hexanthic, 
it doesn't. So he asked me if I could write up something saying if it didn't prove out in the next two years, you know, we could work something out. And I told him point blank, I was like, I would have no problems doing that if it was an animal I produced. It's not an animal I produced. I can't guarantee it because I don't know 100%. So what I'm going to do, and I think this is fair, is I'm going to write up some paperwork saying that if it doesn't prove out in the next two years as being Xanthic, that um, he gets a $75 credit towards another animal from me. Because basically, if it turns out to be Hedzanthic, he makes out on the deal. But I'm fine with that because I can use an orange ghost male more than I can use a, past a male pastel Hedzanthic. If it doesn't prove out to be Hedzanthic, then it's just a regular male pastel. Then there's about a $75 price difference between that and, a, or, and an orange ghost. So I think that's perfectly fair, and he was fine with it, and he thought it was fair too. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to be, he's from Rhode Island. So we're going to meet, you know, halfway across the state of Connecticut. And uh, I'm actually debating while I'm down there, since I'll be at Mohegan Sun, just tossing a $20 bill into a, a slot machine. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. I'm not much of a gambler. I get the occasional scratch tickets, but I'm not much of a gambler. So, yeah, as you can see, the temperature is raising quite quickly in there. So, I think once this is hooked up to a thermostat, that stuff will... Uh, work very well. But anyway, oh, 